The revolved cut feature can be used to remove geometry in the same way that the revolved boss face can be used to add geometry. In this case, we'll be using the revolved cut feature to create a chamfer on both sides of the nut here. So first, I'll drop a sketch on the front plane. And then we'll just go normal to so it's a little bit easier to see our sketch. And then we're going to use the polygon tool to draw in a triangle. And we'll set this to three sides. And we'll click the center into that corner point. And click on the midpoint of this line to add that triangle in. And we'll just want to drag this and just make sure that it grabs that relation of midpoint. Next we'll drop a center line from the origin and this will be our axis of revolution. And then we can come into the features tab and create our revolved cut. It'll automatically bring in that line 5 as the axis of revolution and we'll keep this set at the default of 360 degrees. To complete the cut on the other side of our part, we'll go ahead and mirror it over. First, we'll create a mirror plane. We want to select both sides, and by default, that'll bring in the mid-plane option, and we can click OK. Lastly, we'll go ahead and use the mirror tool choose out that plane, and we'll choose the cut revolve. And that'll finish up our part.